Hi, my name is John Drucks. Welcome to my website, livecalf.com. Everything you see on my website, I have done myself, including all the videos, building the website. And the first portion of my website is music videos, talent I've found, talent, which I believe is some of the best musicians I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of music in my in my day. You know, I most of the talent here is from the Fresno area, Fresno, California. And I'm not sure why there's so much musical talent here, but there is. And again, most of the songs you see on livecalf.com are the songs of the late sixties and early seventies. I should just say 70s in general and in my opinion it's the best music ever made most of these songs were made over 40 years ago and I'm just hoping the original artists don't feel I'm still in their music. Again, most of these original artists are either dead or too old to tour anymore. But again, if you like any of the songs that you see on livecalf.com, buy the originals. I'm hoping to get permission. I'm hoping someone sees this and wants to do it professionally and get permission. I'm hoping someone sees this website and sees the talent displayed. When I was in college at Fresno State University, when I was a senior, I had a business writing course. And my professor was a graduate of Harvard Business School. Again, he, was a, he had his PhD in business from Harvard Business School and at that time he told me I was the best business writer he has ever seen and most of the people I see on the news these days and the show I mainly watch is the Dylan Radigan show on MSNBC most of the people are writing books and I really don't have the money to write books and I'm just not so sure people really want to sit down and read an entire book. I want to do videos and also entertain you with music. So again, if you ever get tired of listening to John Drucks talk, listen to some of the music on my website. I've done a series of documentaries and commentaries the first one being change something we were promised over four years ago something we haven't seen America needs change now we need to take care of us the United States the US us we cannot wait for the presidential election then some lame duck in the start of a new presidential term we need change now we need to support our president Congress needs to work with our president it's now 2012 an election year we can't wait it's already overdue change is already overdue the American I should say the majority of American voters voted for change we were promised change now deliver change 
So, again, my first documentary commentary is called Change. The second documentary commentary is called People. And the first video about a person is John Drux. Because, again, if you're going to listen to anyone talk, listen to their ideas, you need to know who this person is. It also gets into, if you're going to talk about anybody else, you need to talk about yourself too. And the reason I do in people is the only way you're going to change anything is to change people. And again, the, the, most of the, the theme of my website is centered basically around the hippies or at least the hippie music. We were told how to live over 40 years ago. We didn't listen. Instead of being a bunch of hippies, we're a bunch of hypocrites. People need to stand up and say we're not going to let a certain group of people destroy our country, destroy our businesses, destroy our lives. Which brings me to my next topic. On my website it's called Short Sale. The title of this documentary commentary is actually called The Short Sale of the American Dream. I'm a real estate broker in Fresno, California. My opinion is Fresno is the epicenter of the housing crisis. And the sad part is, again, it's only my opinion, but this entire housing catastrophe, the collapse and no recovery, is all based on people trying to help people. All under the disguise, people helping people. First, people were helped in the homes they couldn't afford. Now, people are helping them walk away. While the rest of us homeowners are getting screwed. Excuse my French. But my life's been turned upside down by the housing market. And I reported the problems I saw over four and a half years ago now and guess what nothing's changed because again it, it all goes into everything needs change and the people need to stand up now and bring change the first video on my website under short sale the short sale of the American dream it's called Black Friday. I think it's pretty straightforward why subject to pricing in the multiple listing service for over four and a half years doesn't work. I told the multiple listing service and the realtors over four and a half years ago that as long as you keep doing subject to pricing we'll have an endless supply of short sales and foreclosures four and a half years later I'm still right so please watch the short sale of the American dream because in my opinion the US economy will not turn around until the US housing market does my final documentary commentary on my website is called legal and it's a controversial subject but I think it gets into the hippie slash hypocrite philosophy that's gone wrong in this country basically instead of listening to the hippies we turned into a bunch of hypocrites it's funny how these words are pretty close pretty similar and I'm not here to advocate the use of marijuana, but 
But I am here to say that it's a hypocritical law to say that alcohol is legal and marijuana is illegal. I'm saying the laws need to be the same. Alcohol and marijuana need to have the same laws. Check a box, legal or illegal. I think we already know alcohol is not going to be voted illegal. And actually, why does there even need to be an election? The, the president needs to stand up right now. We've had now a few presidents admit to using marijuana. The, the current president was born in 1961, the same year I have. I was. We've been battling this for over 40 years. It's time to end it. I live in a state that's so broke it's not even funny, but yet our largest cash crop goes untaxed. And we spend millions trying to get rid of it and, and put people in jail. And, and, and put a, have a medical marijuana program that it's questionable at best. So again, my opinion is we need to experiment with the legalization of marijuana in California and if it works roll it out to the rest of the country. Again, you want to have a war on, on drugs, you want to have a war on the Mexican drug cartel, you, you need to look at the legalization of marijuana. I've seen things where 65% of the business of the Mexican drug cartels is marijuana. We need to secure our borders. We have a lot of problems in this country other than trying to crack down on marijuana. So, again, thank you for watching LiveCalf.com. I'm hoping someone sees the talent here. Because, again, who better to tell the story? But what needs to change in America is someone that's living it. Again, my life's been turned upside down. You're looking at a guy that's 50 years old. Perfect payment history is coming to an end. I'm going to be living the American nightmare. But I'm going to be documenting every, every step of the way. Documenting how when I make a phone call trying to do the right thing telling them my story of being a real estate broker self-employed nobody can help me because I don't get an unemployment check there's no program for me so every time you hear about the extended unemployment benefits think of the people that are self-employed the people that Supposedly we're out there to create jobs, small business owners, at least take care of, at least employ themselves. They receive nothing and no one, there's no help for them, there's no programs. So again, who's better to document what's wrong with America than, than, than someone that's living it? Someone that was called the biz, best business writer he's seen when the He's a PhD from Harvard Business School. So again, my name is John Drux. My website is called LiveCalf.com. Everything you see here, I've done myself, including building the website and doing these videos. So you're going to have to excuse me while I turn off my camera. Have a great day.